Hello everyone, my name is Denise. This morning I'll be talking about the security of banks. But before I do so, I'd like to explain to you some of the different ways that I hear from the Lord. And the reason I'll be doing this is because many times I hear prophets or prophetic people would come and they would say that I've heard from the Lord. And I myself would wonder, how did this person hear from the Lord? Was it through a dream, a vision? How did they hear? And so for this reason, I'll be explaining to you. Also to help anyone who may be interested in the prophetic and how it works. Okay, I hear from the Lord audibly, just as I'm speaking now and you can hear me. This is one of the ways that I hear from the Lord. I also hear through dreams and visions. There are also times when I would have a download of information where I would know everything that happened as if I was there when the events took place. Okay, those are some of the ways that I hear from the Lord. I also would like to say for anyone who's seen my video for the first time, I'd like to explain to you that everything happens spiritually before it does here on earth or in the physical realm. And so what I'm trying to say is nothing can happen here on earth unless it's first happened spiritually. And so this is how the Lord has allowed me to hear what is to come before it does. Okay, right, as I've said this morning, my title is called The Security of Banks. On the 16th of November 21, I heard talks in the spiritual realm where banks are told they must wear bulletproof vests. So banks are told spiritually, this is what I've heard in the spiritual realm, that they must wear bulletproof vests. I don't wish to scare anyone, but banks won't be as they are today. This is what I'm perceiving based on what I've heard in the spiritual realm. Many things will be hard to come by and some gangs will believe that this is their only hope. This is their only way. And so this is what they will do. I know many banks today are done online and, you know, we've got Bitcoin and all that stuff happening now. So this could be for the near future because I see more and more banking that, you know, they're done online and, you know, we don't know what will happen in the future. But I believe that this is, this could be in the near future based on what I've heard. So this is what I've heard spiritually and, you know, the Lord is sending out a warning as to what is to come. I don't know exactly where this will take place. You know, I don't know if it will be the future of all banking around the world, but this is what I've heard in the spiritual realm, that banks are told that they must wear bulletproof vests. I did a prophecy also some months ago where I, I titled it bank robbery because that's exactly what I heard in the spiritual realm that there will be a bank robbery. I said I didn't know where it would be, you know, and we saw that this prophecy took place recently where this there was a bank robbery in another country, some other part of the world. And we saw or heard where, you know, I believe an employee was tied to the roof of the car, a moving vehicle, and I think was used as a human shield. And so we saw that this prophecy manifested just as, you know, I've heard that this would take place and we heard it. It was international. It was all over the news. Someone commented on my YouTube channel that this prophecy took place, the person was saying. And I saw it for myself that this was what God was showing me that would take place, a bank robbery though it's not in this country, you know, it was international. The Lord was showing me 
because to God, you know, there's no time and there's no space. There's no distance for God is just as going into another room. And so sometimes you will not always mention like where in the world this will take place. It will just tell me that this will take place. But it's always, when he does that, it's always an event that everyone around the world will hear about it. It won't be something, it's never something that is kept quiet. It's always known all around the world because you know, the Lord didn't specifically say that it will take place in this country. So he will always allow when prophecies are fulfilled that, you know, we, we hear about it or someone, if it's not us, will come and say that this prophecy has been fulfilled. And so we saw that this is what took place in another country, that this bank robbery, after I gave the prophecy, it came to pass. And so the Lord is warning, you know, allowing me to hear basically that banks will no longer be the same again and they will have to wear, they must wear bulletproof vests. This is what the banks will warn that they will need to. And so this is what our future seem to be looking like, shaping up to be in these times. So let us let us continue to pray and let us pray for our societies that we are living in because perilous times are ahead. This is serious to say that, you know, that see that banks will eventually have to wear bulletproof vests if they're not already doing so in parts of the world. Who knows? You know, but this is what I've heard spiritually. So brethren, let us continue to, to pray. It's not for us to fear or for those who are working in the bank, but God is always allowing us to hear what is to come before it does that we are not taken by surprise. And we can also pray, pray about it as well. Okay, these are my few words for today. But before I go, I would like to say if there's anyone who don't know Jesus as their personal savior, I want to encourage you today to do so before it's too late. Tomorrow is not promised to any man and you could die in your sins at any time. And so I want to encourage you to receive the Lord today, to accept him in your life before it's too late for you. There are also those who were once with Christ, but they've now turned away from the faith. I want to encourage you also to receive the Lord today, to turn to him again before it's too late. We are living in end times. We do not know what will happen tomorrow. You know, any one of us could die. And so I'm encouraging you to return to the Lord and to seek him again before it's too late for you. There are also those who are still professing the faith, but they are lukewarm. The word of the Lord describes them as being lukewarm. They have one foot in and one foot out, still doing the things of this world and the things of God. I want to encourage you to turn away from the things of the world. And as the scripture said, let your light so shine that all men will see your good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. We are representative of Christ Jesus and the world is watching us. So let us live a life that is pleasing and acceptable unto the Lord that they too will see and want to serve the God that we are serving today. And so I'm encouraging you to turn away from the things of the world and receive the Lord today in truth. These are my few words for today. Thank you for listening. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.